Okay, traders and hodlers, let's take a look at the two most popular dinosaurs of the market, guys, EOS and fucking Zcash. Now, look, there is simply no means of fundamental um, comparison between these two as they dif- they're they completely fucking different, guys. Look, Zcash and EOS are just nowhere related to each other, right? It's just interesting to take a look at their price action because they have been in the space for a very long time. A lot of interesting community and interesting people as well behind these both assets, guys. So let's jump onto the tier right off. We have EOS. Now, this simply looks looks to me like it also wants to leave an accumulation range guys this is a this is a simple looking up accumulation range in the long haul in the three year time frame and guys it really wants to dissolve out of this entire squeeze which is yet which is happening which has been happening for the past three years right so guys look it looks to me like we have already broken out of this trend right here so the bearish trend is over for eos as well Guys, why are these dinosaurs and why is this a laggard? Because this one was one of the last major crypto asset which broke out of the bear trend, guys. Now, but it is actually doing that. It's actually, EOS is actually making moves. Now, why is it happening? Guys, there is a DeFi ecosystem in EOS as well. You should not forget that. Now, (laughs) this was... Guys, we will be taking a look at EOS BTC charts as well and you will understand why am I laughing so much on these assets, guys. Look, Whatever happens in the market against USD pair, it's bound to happen because Bitcoin has done a 10x in the market. Most of these crypto assets will have done a 10x in the market. Uh, since BTC, <laughs> BTC from the bottom has done a 10x, right? But this one from the bottom is not up 10x at all. Nowhere close to it. It happened because, guys, EOS was bleeding like mad against the BTC pair. EOS was constantly being sold off all throughout this up move on the BTC price action. EOS was being sold off into Bitcoin, guys. A lot of short positions on B, uh, EOS BTC as well, which led to this little stoppage in the price action, which led to this not this not being an outperformer like most of the other spaces. Guys, Tron has been an outperformer. Now, Tron has pumped. This means EOS has also hard. Like, this one has to pump, man. This one has to pump really soon, to be honest with you. It is because the Tron DeFi ecosystem is picking up. It's just a matter of time. EOS and NEO's DeFi ecosystem will also pick up, guys. Look, there's not much happening in the NEO ecosystem, the NEO DeFi ecosystem, as there is just one single protocol, the Flaming- Flamingo Finance Protocol, to uh, which is actually taking care of the entire DeFi happening on NEO. But, guys, EOS ecosystem has so many projects under development and working projects as well, which are giving you DeFi services for way cheaper than Ethereum. That is why the fire, well, the spark has ignited, guys. The fire could light up pretty soon and this one could start taking out some previous all-time highs at $20, guys. Not a far-fetched opinion from these price points, to be honest with you. Just a 250 just a, just, just a 250 percent What the fuck is it? My BitTorrent token did 500% in the last 24 hours. Guys, look. They are micro caps. They can do that. They are these things are giants, man. These things are giants, and these things have hodlers sitting in at every single price range, guys. This is why it takes a lot of time for these assets to go up. Whereas these new assets in the market, which are completely underpriced discovery, they'll just simply float the fuck away from you. Uh, even if you try to long it, it'll cause a slippage in your price action. You'll probably end up paying more than what you actually initially wanted to pay to go ahead with your BitTorrent tokens or any micro cap. To be honest with you, right, guys. The Fibonacci extension for this entire price action structure, just let's assume this was entirely an accumulation range happening for a spam of three year time frame, guys. We are meeting up with the 2.36, uh, 2.36, which means that if you do take this level out on a three day closing basis, well, the train and the party is on. The party is on and the train is going to move. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. So you want to take this one out on a weekly closing basis, guys, to be honest with you. Weekly closure is going to be way more significant on these levels, basically above $6.75 levels on EOS. Now, if that happens, guys, the move is on for at least a retest of the 618 happening at the $14.88 levels, guys. Now, you could have some consolidation phases for this asset as well on to these levels these levels but ultimate target is going to be a retest of the all-time highs if eos if your DeFi ecosystem in eos keeps on picking up and the community is also developing guys watch for the interest catching back again in the eos ecosystem uh, guys everybody fucking forgot about the space man only because it had a perpetuating ico kind of situation for themselves they had a four billion fucking dollar ico man like look Holy fuck, during the bear market, 4 million, 4 billion, sorry, 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 4 billion dollar ICO 
was a huge thing huge thing now they had a ICO such big and the project did not meet a lot of investors expectations to be honest with you that's why it keeps on getting it got sold off throughout throughout 2018 2019 2020 as well guys 2021 happening around this price point right here could be a could be a reversal could be a could be a potential trend reversal right here as this in this midterm time frame as well looks to me like a curling piece of price action happening from this low all the way around this bottom right here guys it's it's kind of like a curling up price action now you want to take this one out right here and you could be formulating some macro cup and handle and then you can go to the moon and talk about some hundred dollar eos price points coming in at the later stages of the bull market targets guys now bull market targets reminds me of the 10.764 extension which stands for about a 234 <laughs> somebody hit me hit me with a fucking hammer right here as i'm not this is not a moon boy focus channel but your ultimate bull run targets are this man like look a lot of assets have actually met this target guys theta has done a 66 when it is retracement eos look it's competing against grandfathers eos is competing against some major major players who already have a lot of working products in their hand which are already in the ecosystem which which makes it very difficult for EOS to actually pick up to those thousand dollars price points guys but look nothing is impossible maybe it could happen maybe down the line in about five or six years could happen could happen why the fuck not if it actually stays there for that long but your this particular bull run target is going to be this but guys let's not get ahead of ourselves it looks to me like this entire wedge is resolving out and if I do just simply take this one out here it's going to be a clearer picture for you this wedge is resolving to the upside so where are your upside targets have you been watching videos from this channel for a very long time had you been doing that you would have known that this is your target there is not nothing lower than this man nothing fucking lower than this one this is your target your previous all-time high when you are standing at 20 dollars is your target right you could have some turbulence in on the way on the way to the upside guys holding is not easy right well to be honest with you trading is not easy trading is the most difficult thing you can do in your life it's not easy if you're making money and if you're feeling like a genius and you are winning every single day guys something will come back down to you and it'll take everything away from you i am not here to disappoint you discourage you whatever but guys if you're in trading for the long haul just remember that if you're making exponential gains in the market it's not a healthy sign it's not a healthy sign as a long-term trader guys if you're if you want to be trading as a profession for a long term guys look any profession any profession takes a graduate degree sorry an undergraduate degree and then a graduate degree then you become proficient in any profession guys trading is not different at all it's it's just like that it's just that there is not much formal education and look specifically trading cryptocurrencies like you all you fucking need is just some money and some exchanges they allow you to trade for free without any kyc so that's why entering into the trading universe is pretty simple guys but sustaining thriving in these markets making money even in the bear markets that is what you have to learn this is why i talk about it's equal to like having a graduate degree and then a under sorry undergraduate then a graduate degree then you want to be proficient in any profession for that matter trading is like that you're going to be spending so much time you want to be learning something new every single day and guys look to be honest with you most of most of the profitable trading comes out of experience it really comes out of experience guys it's just like it is something which i can personally affirm with i've been i've been able to maintain and manage my own life like it took me a while to actually get here but guys look once you get a knack of it but you once you understand that trading is not really a rocket science guys that is when things say all right this was not supposed to be a ramble video about trading but anyway if you're still in the video hit that like as we are going to be jumping on to our next candidate pretty soon after this one as if you do take this high out here at 6.5 on a three-day closing basis there is not much stopping all the way until 8.5 guys we have to look at the bigger picture on these analysis guys that is why your intraday is quite manipulatable in these environments whereas your macro picture is going to be bullish for most of the fucking assets but just for that matter let's just jump onto the daily time frame as we 
we are clearing this high right here it looks to me like right good signs for eos as this one bartered the fuck out <laughs> to the upside got well not bartered this is not a bart price of uh, this is not a bart price action this one got accumulated beautifully with the 55 simple moving average on daily time frame guys 55 on daily is very significant as a moving average and when 55 is crossed above the 200 the structure is very important and the structure would generally be bullish right most of the trends guys look you have a fucking bullish cross above the 200 simple moving average and your price action is trending with the 55 simple so whenever the price will come back down to the 55 with the golden cross on right here it will be a pick it will be an opportunity it will be a fucking opportunity again and again so don't get really frustrated when these things come down as they will come back down probably to the reaccumulation ranges that keep aligning with some key moving averages happening above the golden cross and it will get picked up and it'll get the go to the upside back again guys A lot of things happening this week. Dash is also picking up. XMR is also picking up. A lot, lot of things, guys. These second, <laughs> second most important crypto assets have actually started picking up, which really signifies the second wave in this altcoin space, which is going to be massive, guys. Wait for those crazy valuations happening in the in in front of your eyes. So do not miss out on these opportunities and hit that like as well. <sighs> I should not repeat that sentence again and again, guys. You hit that dislike as well, man. Fuck off. <laughs> like fuck that shit. <laughs> Go for that dislike. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I should. I am really distracted from this video. It looks to me like, guys, your ultimate target is this. As you are really clearing this high right here, this one as well. Your thi this point is your ultimate, ultimate, ultimate resistance area. If you if you clear this one out right here, guys, look. All time highs. All time highs for yours. And then after the all time highs, six one eight, two dot six one eight. Four or two, three, six, ten or seven, six, four, guys. Step by step, step by step. Point of this entire fucking video is that I hope you are accumulating this one with the fifty-five simple moving average. As it comes, if it comes back down again to these price points, guys, pick it up, pick it up. As far as this one is trending above the two hundred simple as well, guys. Look, this is going to be a better investment. Do not look at this on your intraday basis, on your small time frames, guys. You can go ahead and you can trade this one as well in in the small time frames on better exchanges. Better than Binance is FTX. In my personal preference, you you can go ahead and trade on Binance as well, guys. It's all about fucking making money, and you want to make money in the most comfortable trading environment if you are constantly losing out money in a particular exchange guys that would create a psychological impact in your trading as well to be honest with you look if uh, if you are constantly 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 losing money in binance and binance has a has has a little thing of displaying your pnl every single day in your binance wallet i guess right i've not used binance for a very long time but yeah it displays that this is this is so and so amount of money that you made today oh you're in losses today so look these exchanges are manipulating your subconscious to trade more and more more and more more and more so add they keep on accumulating the fees that you guys are generating out of your own trading right this is what happens so do not get influenced by those red and green numbers just focus on percentage gains if you are trading these things in the intraday time frame basis although they are quite hard guys look trading intraday is really difficult but you can point for some key inflection points like this one right here right and some some short trade target as well on this one right here these key inflection points are certainly worth worth a go worth a try for any swing trade to be honest with you but guys you want to be fucking trading this chop in your intraday time frame most likely you'll end up losing money and the bigger picture will fucking stay the same man look it will stay the same right okay all right all right you are clear about the upside targets and you are clear about the downside risk management as well as pretty much aligning with the daily to uh, sorry the daily 55 moving average to be honest with you as that is your trend definer your trend guider and trend narrator as well you ultimate support your ultimate support is supposed to be the 200 simple on the daily time frame currently at 3.1 dollars if yours starts trending below the 200 daily moving average there's simply no point holding it for this bull run all right not for the bull run but for the mid term right if it starts trending below the 200 simple moving average as far as going above that it's completely fine it's completely fine guys eos against btc as well for that matter let's just check this one out let's just check this one out are we double yeah you most probably have divergence between this point and this point right here guys you have crazy divergence but, but guys most of the most of the <laughs> easy move has already played out you challenge this high right here you do take this one out right here you will be challenging the 200 simple moving average and you if you 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 a lot of you you if you take this 200 simple moving average above this price point right here guys this would mean that things have actually started turning around for eos as this is your key inflection point for eos markets as well eos btc pair has to start trending above the 200 simple moving average guys and then we can talk about some upside further targets guys at this low guys this low fucking tested the listing lows man crazy crazy eos just gave up everything against btc <laughs> so 
so so what does that mean in plain blank sight in front of you what do you see right here guys most of the sellers have exited the market most of the sellers are gone they th- who, who the fuck is going to nobody's there holding yours man look there's no one holding yours sellers have gone if you violate these laws i don't know what kind of future do you have for eos man as this would just simply just it will be a wreckage beyond this one but this one has to be the low for the mid term time frame and it looks to me like as the dominance as the bitcoin dominance is slipping below some key levels at least a mid term trend above the 200 simple moving average should pick up on eos against btc and watch this moving average to actually start curling up like this then you can talk about this one being a reaccumulation off of the lows aligned with the, <laughs> the listing lows right here guys and then you can talk about this entire wedge breaking towards the upside with the moving average uh, resolving and then you can talk about some crazy price targets on the btc pair as well guys as the all time high for eos again <laughs> look, look i it's a fucking fool fool's game to do this man this just i don't want to do this i i i just just for the sake of it this trend line would have your targets towards the upside traditionally speaking traditionally speaking or according to look guys anything happening in the small time frame is basically something which happens in the biggest bigger scale as well guys you can go ahead and you can compare 10 minute price action movements with weekly and yearly price actions as well on some key assets well if you if you analyze the yearly price actions guys everything is up equity stock markets commodities cryptocurrencies if you go ahead and you test you check out the yearly price action everything is up guys fucking every it's a buy it it's a buy the dip scheme man any assets which plummets down by 30% in traditional stock markets guys it's a generational buy everything goes up all right i'm talking about the indices i'm talking about spx i'm talking about nifty i'm talking about uk 50 i'm talking about every indices of the major stock markets in the current um, the, in the current global situation in all of the countries guys everything is straight up most of these indices are adjusting themselves with the hyperinflation that your government is doing that's all man that's it why do you think your stocks are going up are you a fucking genius because you're making money from stock markets fuck no your stocks are adjusting against the inflation which is being caused by your fucking government look guys it's a fucking fools game to make money man like holy fucking crap don't get me started on this one <laughs> it's just if you think you're a fucking genius making money in the stock markets or any market by holding this one you are not a genius <laughs> who am i to say that to you who am i to say that to you but guys if if you really take a deep dive into macroeconomics microeconomics as well for that matter if you understand basic concepts of economy guys look everything is adjusting itself according to the hyperinflation that most of the central banks are putting the entire global reserve currency system into is just is just it was supposed to happen ever since the gold standards was uh, gold standards gold standard was taken out of the existence this was supposed to happen your fiat currency will con- constantly be hyper 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 inflated guys most of the rebasing could happen like you know what you can like the central banks could be like all right let's just fucking go ahead and get it off a few zeros they could simply denominate their currencies into different uh, into different figures like you can they can cut down five figures into three figures by simply removing the zero and easing out the monetary base supply man they, they, it's just it's just crazy how easily easily the gro- the global financial macro can be manipulated guys look i think understanding macro Uh, uh, macro finance is it's a, it, it's a fool's fool's game guys look look this is what reality is Our macro economics is a fool's game it's a fool's game look i have so many reasons that i can simply based off this argument off of guys this is why you want to protect your capital you want to go for hard assets like cryptocurrencies again they are also simply adjusting themselves with the hyperinflation which is happening but crypto assets are moving significantly exponentially towards the upside it's only because of the fact that they have limited supply man you cannot go ahead and rebase your fucking entire <laughs> supply in the market you can't do that for crypto assets this is why money is getting hyperinflated these things are getting deflated this is why they are exponentially going to the upside guys this is why crypto market is functioning in a pretty fear and greed kind of situation right here now holy fucking crap this video is completely a fucking ramble i'm not talking about the ta at all but guys you do get the point right here i i i 
do you think this video was helpful like i you know what i think i should just go ahead and make some vlog style videos and talk about these things and just simply focus on the charts for these kind of videos as i'm a little teeny tiny dot in the video right right here man all right okay all right uh this one right here you know the drill the moving average first should curl towards the upside for your bias to change in the price action then we can talk about some further upside targets but if this wedge resolves itself to the upside guys your targets we got we're not going to talk we're not going to be taking the entire btc all time highs this was a fair over evaluation guys we're going to be taking this entire leg down instead right this entire single leg down now if you are resolving this grind towards the upside your first target is going to be at the 0.6 an extension aligning with the 35000 satoshi levels now from the current price points this is quite significantly up this is 240% 50% move to the upside guys if btc also keeps on trending towards the upside this will mean that eos would probably test its all time highs pretty soon pretty soon pretty soon now trx just checking out the trx price action these things can happen so quickly even the major crypto assets as well so eos could uh, could eventually start picking up guys look have a, have a close attention on this one as this has not started moving and everything keeps on moving in crypto everything gets its chance in crypto markets guys this is yet another asset which will keep on picking up in in the coming months guys before further ado let's jump on to fucking zcash it's been a long 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 video i guess right all right zcash z fucking cash guys you want to check out the all time highs for zcash it's at a fucking 2.4 million dollars <laughs> guys polonix fucking crazy days at 2017 i do not know what the fuck happened right here guys zcash got listed at 7 btc i guess per zcash i mean what like and it was trading man it was trading zcash was trading for more than a bitcoin for a for a couple of weeks guys on polonix it was crazy it was fucking crazy I, that kind of evaluation was something which nobody understood at that price point but it was very exuberant that's why it got corrected it got crazily corrected everyone guys imagine somebody buying zcash at one whole btc or maybe seven btcs per zcash oh, holy fuck i can't even imagine i can't even start to imagine that man but let's just say for that relevance we're going to be taking out this entire piece of price action it was just fucking bullshit to be honest with you so this is what you are talking about this is what we are honestly dealing with guys we're just going to be taking this away from the screen as well as you're curling up with the btc price action doing 10x in the market zcash is also up 10x in the market ever since the covid bottom right here guys as this as, you can see right here this one in terms of price action behavior is performing better than eos <laughs> it's just doing that whereas zcash is just a previously cryptocurrency EOS has a DeFi ecosystem behind itself, and still, it's not able to perform, guys. This is why the stronger one in these two is certainly Zcash. And now you can simply argue about the fact that there are a lot of key risk management areas on Zcash in the macro picture as well. As I do think that even if Zcash comes back down, comes back down to hundred dollar levels, it's going to be picked up, guys, with utmost caution. Sorry, utmost conviction. That is what I wanted to say. If it comes back down back down to hundred dollars, most likely an opportunity in the macro time frame as well, guys. As this one, this previous dip right here, which happened in the first week of March. Wait, is this, is this the three time frame? All right, oh, fuck, man. We're already into April. We are trading April, guys. The world moves so fucking fast, man. Holy fuck, time just flies away, guys. And this grind also got resolved to the upside. And this triangle also like it could be a you, you can you can take this one down right here you can extend this one all the way to this price point as well this is a good squeeze resolve to the upside getting accumulated with the 21 simple on three guys this is why this moving average is the most important one if you are leaving any accumulation range this is this is a pure example of how the price get got accumulated with the 21 simple on the three time frame and is now picking up challenging these highs closing above this high as well guys this could be a follow through continuation drive to the upside on zcash as well you could be testing these previous all time guys remember we are not going to be considering this piece of bullshit right here we are going to be considering this high as your all time high on zcash which is around a 850 dollar price point target this could happen this could happen pretty soon as guys this one really likes to trend with xmr guys zcash xmr both of them are previously centric cryptocurrencies could you say blue chip cryptocurrencies yeah standing at 180 dollars evaluation certainly a high price point crypto asset to be honest with you supply supply guys supply for zcash is not that much supply remains very very less for zcash this is why this is outperforming as supply keeps on running out of zcash as zcash as well as this is mineable as well guys zcash you can mine zcash as well 
and i guess the mining activities from bitcoin as is probably going to start shifting towards various other crypto assets as the market cap participation keeps on growing guys you can head out to some websites like miner gate if your computer is sitting idle guys this is what i used to do for a very guys i did this for 6 to 7 months straight up i had almost 5 to 6 laptops and computers lying around in in my house in my cousin's house and so many people i just fucking gathered all of them aligned them up went to minergate.com started mining monero guys i started mining monero for like crazy and i stole i i i sold all of my monero that was the worst fucking financial decision ever i made i mined xmr and i sold them and i i <clears throat> regrets regrets everybody has the regrets right? so i have mine well Guys, you can go ahead and to miner gate. You can mine these one. If your computers are sitting idle, you can supply your power to the miner gate pool, and they will eventually distribute Zcash or whatever crypto you want to mine. You can go ahead. You can do that. You can jump on and explore that website as well. I'll be leaving the links down in the description, guys. Miner gate, miner gate. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Enough of ramble for this one. As we do have some clear possible uh, uh, ranges. possible upside resistance which could have little turbulence in the price action the first one being around this area right here aligning with the 382 extension guys now we are not going to be considering the 236 as it looks to me like we're going to be clearing out this one at the 200 dollar levels guys e cash above 200 is not a far fetched thing it's going to happen pretty soon to be honest with you and your first turbulence after that is going to be around 330 dollar levels guys this one being extremely less in supply probably you're going to be having a massive supply shock if the market demands for zcash all of a sudden it's going to go to the upside without any stopping that's 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 yet another observation uh, for the zcash price zcash zcash price action i'm really losing out on my words as i i'm really thirsty as well i think get ahead with this sip all right everything clear and precise All time highs are 850. You could get accumulated right here and test these price points right here, right? Zcash against BTC. Let's check this one out as well for that matter, guys. Certainly the bear. guys. The price action is way bearish than EOS BTC as well, guys. To be honest with you, right? This is this is extremely bearish. Look, you have you have some resistance below some resistance. I mean, <laughs> okay, that was pure bullshit, but. My bad, but but if you are going to be taking out this price point right here on three-day closing basis, basically if you close any candle at this area, guys, this is this is what this is three hundred four thousand three forty hundred thousand Satoshi levels, then you can be testing on to these price points right here, which is going to be a uh, up move of fifty percent. Zcash could be aligning with your two dot three six. Oh, sorry, zero dot two two three six extension on to this entire price action range, aligning with some three hundred to two fifty dollar levels target, guys. This could be aligning with that one pretty soon if we trend like this on the small time frames, as the macro is certainly pretty shitty, guys. This on on the macro it's extremely Yeah, it's shit. Uh, Zcash against BTC on Poloniex. I wanted to check that out, guys. As that one has history, right? <laughs> What? Why? Holy, holy shit! All right, I I had I had completely forgotten about this, guys. Zcash traded for three thousand BTC. Holy shit! I'm gonna be digging a hole for myself. Gonna get inside that hole, absorb this fact. Gonna come back out after a year and then see the price action on this one, guys. This is man, what you like. You know what this is telling. This 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 is quite telling of the fact that someone someone sold three thousand BTC for one Zcash. Back in the good old days, happening at twenty seven October two thousand sixteen. Man, holy shit, fuck. All right, all right. Let's not be distracted by this one, guys. As this has been a straight fucking down bearish looking trend, man. This is crazy bearish trend. And remember, this is logarithmic values for you guys. This is this is this is log. If I open the arithmetic chart, this is a dead fucking heartbeat. And most likely, it will not even show the. <laughs> all thanks to that three thousand dollar BTC week. No, uh, three thousand BTC week, man. Like I had <laughs> holy shit, lot of scrolls. Well. This is your real price action. That is why Zcash against BTC, guys. Look, there is no point of fucking doing any sort of analysis, to be honest with you. But <laughs> you could argue that if you do take this high right high, right here, you could challenge, you could start challenging these highs on these levels as well, guys. This would be a two to three x move to the upside, and it looks to me like this wedge right here is the most interesting piece of price action. You could resolve to the upside, have some little retest around back around these levels right here, as 
looks to me like this wedge wants to resolve to the upside, guys. Let's check out the momentum oscillator. You have huge amount of divergence between this point. All right, this is not really a divergence to be honest with you, but the selling pressure is just non-existent right here from the RSI, guys. There is nobody selling Zcash against BTC. <laughs> well yeah no shit right everybody who wanted to sell ZTC, sorry zcash away has already sold most likely right this is why the price would probably have nowhere to go to the upside but i mean it it, it will not probably go to the downside but it'll go to the upside from these price points but if you really keep on selling back again with this trend line guys it will be very shitty against btc you'll be probably better off holding ptc against those z against of zcash but the short term signatures the tsi guys this is bullish fucking looking signature to be honest with you this is nice buying point right here i love these kind of signatures on tsi uh, you curl to the upside with the rsi holding above 40 in the short time frame yep you do look nice you do look poised for a retest of this high right here guys you could you could do this you could do this on zcash 160 percent move against btc to the upside would align with so many price point targets could be aligning with a 500 550 dollar price target for zcash as well and if the trend continues to the upside you could be testing these price point in diagonal trend resistance fashion right here and this could be aligning with the all-time highs happening on zcash against usd as well guys this price action why do i keep on talking about Z btc pairs as these pairs will tell you whether the asset is going to go for an accelerated move to the upside or it's probably going to chop in the btc pair as in the in the usd pair as well for that matter this one looks to me like a, a potential breakout towards the upside right could happen could happen in the short time frames all right guys i am going to be winding up this huge as ramble video let me know if you like this content let me know if this video was helpful to you and guys hit that like share this video as much as you can i'm going to be catching you on the next video pretty soon bye for now